hey, this is the entire space which I can use it to create my entire layout. So what we can do is all you have to do is create hit new and create window main window. So just create create. You can just resize it for whatever you want to at which whichever size you like. Basically, we'll be cre creating the entire win uh, window. So what I have done is take we will start with a, putting the label. So label would be just drag and drop. So just find the label. You just uh, do the drag and drop, and as soon as you do the label, you can also stretch it off and just name it as a login page. Now, I know it seems like it's not that much uh, uh, useful how, how we'll be doing it. So, uh, pretty much uh, we'll be doing adding different different things so far. So, how we'll be doing next thing would we need username and specifically we need uh, the text or the box which takes the text inside of the username and password. So, it's, it's so simple. Just uh, try to find QT. Line edit. So you just do line edit one, line edit two, and also we'll have two labels, which is labels. Also, uh, for the yet currently I'm taking for this is I'm taking the line edit. So line edit will help us to change the text whenever we are running on the uh, specific application. So basically, you can minimize, maximize the same thing. I'm just changing it to username. Copy and paste. So control, just select it, control C and control V. So you can just copy it. Password. All right. So now the most interesting thing is how am I supposed to just literally um, create the whole thing of the submit button I cannot submit it if I don't have submit button I cannot do most much more things so I need a button too so basically we'll have a push button which is this just dragging and dropping and this is the push button I drag and drop the push button just you can double click on it and you can change the name of it which is submit and here we go we have created our login page however to make it more fancier I have created one of the versions which is So I just created some of the fancier version. I'll be putting in the GitHub link in the, in the under the underneath the um, YouTube video, and you'll be able to find the whole entire code for it. So now let's understand how we can uh, interestingly change and make uh, the GUI such um, workable. So what you can do in order to apply all different different things, uh, how do I first of all? How am I supposed to change the text? You see the text is bigger. There and it looks something the background is different colored the text color is different size is different font size is different everything so what do you have to do basically is just um, we can start with this before I, I usually prefer before doing any of these things I usually prefer to name the objects properly so I don't get confused when I generate the Python code so let's understand that first so how do I give the proper name of the object at each object? So just click on the specific uh, label or the window and just go over the object name. You can see the object name. I usually change it to the name something which is made up from. So it's made up from label and uh, what's the name of it is login page. So this helps me to make sure that, hey, this is a label. At the same time, I, it's for the login page, which I'm using inside the text. So I won't forget what's going on inside the text. At the same time, just double click, uh, just click on it. So label, username, click again, and for the password, password, all right. This is for line edit. So line edit would be for username. And line edit for password would be password. All right. And for submit is push button, push button, submit. So 
once we have created entire thing now we need to make sure that it's in the uh, proper alignment so one of the easiest key to make it much more aligned I'm, i will be using some of the tools of the bike YouTube. so i will just select it as soon as it's selected there's an option at the very top which you can see we can have the different different layout types so i just wanted to stack over one over uh, one over uh, one after other so if the stacks is proper i guess much much more easier to view so i'm just changing it to stack and when you see once you see it looks like it's been combined but it's not it just from in the layout format so now we can drag and increase the entire width and you can also keep changing or you can keep the consistency between username and password you can do similar things with the entries we have for this i'm stacking it again all right so now this looks a little bit it decent this is a looks on a normal page and everything now how do i give different colors text and submit how do i give the author name and all these things it's pretty much simple um all you have to do is specifically go for just click on the entire window just right click on it you will see this all the different different options from that options go to the change style sheet so change style sheet once you see this you will be able to see that you can apply different colors and everything so many times people get confused by just clicking add the color it just gives you the color no you need the specific things what you need to do it's just like an html writing the html and css writing the specific colors so just right click uh, just uh, just click on the add color when you see the drop down menu so you will see they will do drop down see the drop down menu once you click then you can select whatever the options you want to do or whatever the what's the purpose for right now our purpose is to change the background color which is I change the background color. I already just selected one of my better background color. Just clicking, hitting OK, and then all I have to do then make sure there's a semicolon at the end. And all I have to do is apply, and you will see it's pretty pretty dark. And uh, what we did comparatively was let me the lighter shade and everything. So what you can do is th that too. And is how you can change the colors and everything if i just wanted to change the color so what i can do uh, i'm just removing everything and just adding instead of clicking on drop down i'm just clicking on add color now in add color i'm just adding the color uh, however or uh, i need to still need to make sure you put the uh, um, semicolon because sometimes it does shows an issue just because of the uh, format it's written for so just click apply and you will see and hit ok once you are if you like it the whole window now you see that everything is looks good but what about the fonts same thing about the fonts is just right click on it and right click on a specific label and you will see that and when you, once you see that you just go in the style sheet so now but however i don't see any of the things in this style sheet so you can either add a font or something like that but i cannot change it so what i need to do i right click again just i'll just show you that i will just i right click again instead of going into style sheet you need to go for rich text so you go in a rich text and you see this there is an option of increasing the size so i just keep it as normally filled for 16 or 14 just getting it as, uh, based on the look of the error entire uh, window you can change the size i usually prefer or keeping the entire label at the center so i don't have to keep uh, adjusting it so you have the option to select it and just do is make it in the center of the page hit okay and kaboom yeah you can see that i have just created the login page which specifically sees that all these things now let's understand how to, able to do change the fonts of the username and password it's similar to what we did just go to a specific label right click go to the change rich text change it to the whatever you like so i just wanted to do it you want to usually keep smaller and middle okay username same thing try to keep the consistency all right and once we have that you can basically perform all our different tasks 
and this is my submit button i can increase and decrease the size based on whatever feel, uh, feel i get so uh, this is the normal or the basic version how to create the specific um login page now once you see this in mind this borders are curved and uh, the borders of the buttons are also covered i also have the author's share shelf is still remaining and the line so what i can do is specifically go for is right click on the same thing we're doing right click change the style sheet and now uh, we can change it to the different color so different color make it more darker apply okay so now i just changed the color uh, however now let's start how we will be focusing on rounding the curves of the submit button yeah now we understand how we'll be focusing on you know, resizing our, our submit button so basically in this we have as you can see now we have the round edges of the corners so how we will be doing so just right click on it change to the style sheet and specifically cover and just right i already have written the code uh, for how to design the our button so basically what main thing is working on is the border radius so for the border radius we'll be focusing us helping us to round the edges or the corners so we'll do that and then it's like if i change it to 20 you can see it will be much more round if i just change it to 20 15 less round and so on and so forth you can just change the font inside the uh, we, are, we can already uh, we can already do it by right clicking and rich te uh, rich text and everything you can also do by that part and at the same time i just changed the background color of specifically a button and i uh, set the styles to the outset and just uh, change the color so the in the in this the only difference is the in order to set the co uh, text color you need to write that this is the color so for the text you need to change this color and for the background you need to change for the background color so that's the only thing we need to take away from for the submit button you just hit apply and okay as soon as you sit apply and okay you can able to see that uh, it's much more neat and you will be able to see that uh, our submit button is almost ready you can just resize it uh, basically i did resizing right so this is the thing now last thing we need to understand that how i will be getting the author so it's pretty much simple we already did it use the label tag so i'm just using the label tag just copy over here hit whatever you want to write author size shelf and just increase the size window size as soon as you increase it just right click on it go rich text again we'll be doing the same thing uh, i am making it a little bit smaller i'm making it a little bit like a little bigger i guess and making it center again and hitting enter okay so now it's it however when you see this it's pretty much light right so all i did is just uh, is effects of color so just go to the style sheet do this color because why i'm doing color because i'm changing the color of the text so basically um i might be ch uh, choosing a little bit of gray okay okay apply and you see a little bit of gray and just and it looks like similar things now only the last thing will be remaining would be the line how do i get a line it's just a simple widget and this is the entire box is also known as the widget that's what i was going to say at the beginning um getting from the visit window just find this right line you will see horizontal and vertical line i want horizontal line so just select that drop it and just increase the line and then after that everything you have to do as a matter of fact is just to resize it make it size button and uh, so forth so this is the specific uh, explanation of how to create the page using the qt designer or and you can just uh, reformat it using by keeping it in a proper alignment this is the raise button 
bring down the this is the uh, sample window uh, which we right now created uh, we're using different different techniques and much more you can change it uh, for this uh, enter username you can just literally write inside it enter username and enter password and just change the font of the te uh, text font so you will be able to see this similar thing because as soon as I click on this uh, you, know, you can just start writing on, on this so similarly this is just so uh, my software but this I'm just predefining it as soon as we have this you can uh, we have the ready-made format so now oh, I will just focus on we already have I already created the uh, window page I just resized it and did the much I applied much more styling to it so once I once we see this uh, this is a little, little bit of styling applying the styling in more most of the part so now how do I uh, integrate it so now once we see the our whole application how it's working is basically if I writing something the username and other thing and then uh, clicking on submit it will generate a, a little tiny box it says hey um, I don't like I, I don't know you have the right username or password please or you can just increase the message or whatever you want to write and do this now I have also have which is current admin admin submit currently it's saying it is wrong okay let me see what's going on All right, so just using a uh, proper username and password, we can get generate the dialog box of hello world. I'll be explaining what's going over here, how to connect the submit button to the specific thing. So only the QD designer can help us to is design the interface. We cannot connect to the any box, any place other. So we need to make sure that you guys specifically uh, design it properly and make sure your designs and everything is final. Then only then move to the Python code because it makes uh, much more easier to focus on code and then you don't have to keep uh, changing your style view.